between Cortland and that last qualifier mm -hmm. was when we went to Walk Green Lakes. Mm -hmm. And I pulled my old driver, my backup driver. Mm -hmm. you, and had, you had the backup driver with me on my uh, birthday. I didn't realize it that day. I played the front nine at Green Lakes, which is an extremely tough course, with it cranked down minus one. So it was at eight degrees. <laughs> so when do I realize it? After we played ninth, before the tenth hole, that's I was right. like, wait, I think the loft is wrong. So I adjusted. Oh, that's right. I do remember this. Yeah. And then I piped my fucking drive on 10. Yeah. I didn't know. This was the first time I played Green I Lakes. That. And I didn't know. I was like, I I laser from my the fairway and I have like 185 or something like it. And I was like, Anthony, is this a par five? And he's like, yeah, it's a par. I was like, this is not a par five. And like, I did hit like a hill and kick forward. Like my drive probably ran out mm -hmm. close to 300, even though I didn't hit it that far. So pretty sick though. But I had an eagle putt here after struggling on the front because my driver was cranked down to eight degrees a lot, and I'm used to 11. I cranked it up, and I was like, I think I figured this out. That's hilarious. Because how often is it that you're like, oh, I'm not, like you are saying, I'm not getting my hips through and stuff, and you think you know what it is, mm -hmm. but most likely, 95% of the time, you have no idea what's actually wrong. No, you think you do, but there's so many things. And I was like, <laughs> I knew what was actually wrong. It was the loft of my driver. I had an eagle chance after posting of whatever it was like 49 or something on the front there but then after that it was like the 11th i think i topped it like 150 yards there we but... go right. and she's back <laughs> but yeah hell yeah thought i had it figured out yeah check out on your check your equipment there boys and girls make sure yeah make sure you're playing that, that like sometimes it's if you've got the, some of those drivers with a little movable slider they didn't mm. fall all the way to fade or draw I've got one, yeah i should i should look at that yeah Watch I correct it just after since like pissing on balls. Since then though, because again I kept missing the driver's left and I was like I've never done a fitting for the driver, but I was like I did a little research and it was like as you add loft, I had it plus two up to eleven, it closes the face. So I actually lowered it back down since to nine. Mm. And I'm just I feel like when I'm gripping my driver now, I'm gripping it like this to like open the face up. Oh shit. Sure. But they're going straight or like a little cut sometimes it feels so wrong because I, I swear i'm over the ball like this when i first started golfing like such a weak grip but it's i don't know back i think it was like 21 22 will weimer gave me an offset cobra driver mm -hmm. that like so i had to like play it like way up and the club was back yeah dude it was like a 10 and a half loft i used to piss on those balls <laughs> and then i was then i would put a normal driver in my hand i was like oh the slice is still there yeah yeah <laughs> I miss those days, though. Good Lord. Thanks for watching today's episode. To see more of our content, be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe on YouTube. We can be found at Basic Bogies on all platforms. Thanks. We hope to see you on the next one.